Hi everyone, thank you so much for taking a moment to stop by and check out our second promotional video on our interview mastery course. So what is the focus area of this second section of the course? So it's really research based and that's where we start. We start with the basic items and how you go through the research and we're going to go a little bit more in depth than your classic research but we'll create this really nice checklist and this way that you just make sure that you're not only correlating all the data but then uncovering the bigger themes within the data as well the next module module four is really going to focus in on that recruiter relationship so many of the questions that I get in my live sessions and just general common questions, information that people are looking for out there really can be uncovered by having a good recruiter relationship. And we are going to uncover the critical questions to be asking your recruiter and how important this relationship is. Module five, the job description module. This is absolutely one of my favorites. We will do a deep dive into the job description and I'm going to teach you one really critical skill set, which is how do we create questions from the job description for every job description we see for the rest of our lives. It's such a fun and powerful exercise. Then job specific data. So we needed this standalone section and even in the beta course there was some feedback or maybe misunderstanding on why this section was standalone. But we need to take those other three sections, the research, the recruiter interaction and feedback, and the JD and correlate it all together to really create a good idea of the themes and concepts. What does the role need? Because this will be a piece that we revisit throughout the entire course. If you can always be going back to this, you'll know what to put in your answers, both in your behavioral answers and open-ended questions. And it will just give you that really, really good pulse. Then we move on to two other critical items that needed to be implemented earlier on. So module seven is visuals. We are going to spend a lot of time throughout the course talking about the criticality and impact of visuals. If you can get your interviewer visually connected to what you're saying, they are going to remember you. If they remember you, you're going to be more likable and therefore more hireable. And this is one of the data points that I spend a ton of time on is talking about visuals. And the more and more I coach, the more I realize how important they are. So that's a standalone section. We'll really uncover how to identify what are the critical critical visual items we want to be calling out. And then lastly, interviewer attention span. And this is a mindset item going back to the first section, the foundation of the course. If we don't understand that our interviewer doesn't want to be there, is unengaged, uninterested, we are never going to have success in the interview process. So we're going to uncover how do we really handle this and navigate this very, very tricky space to make sure that we're getting small upticks in our success? We can't change everything about people's personality or habits, but we can try our best. And that's it. That's really what I like to refer to as the research part of the course. Tomorrow I'll come out and I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're going to focus in on on the behavioral side. And in the YouTube description below, if you want to pre-buy, it will be a $100 discount until midnight on Monday, April 4th. And then it will go full price on April 5th. Again, thank you so much for checking out this promotional video. And I'll be back tomorrow to talk a little bit more about the third section of the course. Thanks.